Hi, I'm Darren from ProBlogger and I'm here in Tanzania at the Disability Hospital of one of CBM Australia's partners. And we spent some time today in one of the fistula wards here where we saw a lot of women and we talked to a few about their stories. It was fascinating to see uh, the different stages that women were at. Some had literally just arrived in the door, others were preparing for surgery and others still had been here for a number of weeks and were about to go home. Uh, it was fascinating to, to hear their stories and some of the recurring themes. Uh, many of the women, uh, again, so socially isolated themselves or, or were treated um, badly by other people. One of the women that we caught up with was Hadija. Uh, you may remember Hadija from about three days ago where we visited her and uh, another friend, Moshi, in their village. Hadija has been living with fistula for 30 years. She never knew that there was a treatment and uh, it was great to see her actually arrive here at the hospital today. She was a little nervous, as you'd expect, but she was also really excited and she told me that she, she was getting, uh, anticipating her surgery and what that would mean for her. We also met Nagwala, um, a little younger than Hadija um, and quite different circumstances. Um, whilst Hadija has um, been living with fistula for 30 years, Nagwala has been living with it for two months. And this shows just how important it is to identify people with fistula early. Uh, she was told by a neighbor who had heard about this hospital and the treatment that they offered that there was hope. And so she immediately uh, began to get into action to get here. Her and her husband got her here quite quickly. And as a result, she doesn't have to live with fistula for 30 years as Hadija did. These are just two of many stories uh, that are happening here in this hospital. We'll share more in the coming days, but I hope that you found uh, hearing a little bit more about this condition and, and the women and the stories uh, to be as meaningful as I have.